today I just wanted to demo the extremely promising paint select tool that's going to be in GIMP 3.0. It is highly experimental right now. It crashes every time I use it. I do want to just show you guys a demo though and give you my thoughts here in real time. So to access this tool you have to go to edit preferences and come over here to playground and check paint select tool. Click OK and then restart GIMP. Once you reopen GIMP it's going to be over here inside of the toolbox. So I've been following this tool for a few years now and the hang up on this is that the algorithm I guess needed to be totally reworked. I do think there's also performance issues that kind of linger with this thing. I will say though, if I just click and drag my mouse, it does a pretty good job right out of the gate of selecting the subject. And I think the performance has definitely improved. I think it works a lot faster than it used to. It used to really just be unusable. I mean, it was too slow. It crashed all the time. So basically up to this point where it is selecting what is very obviously the subject here besides the head. So there's a lot more contrast between this yellow jacket and the background. It, it doesn't struggle with this at all. It does a great job. It's once you get into trying to select this guy's head versus the background that we start getting problems. So I think what's happening here, if I hold control and zoom in, if you take a close look at this image, the depth of field from the camera really stops at this halo around his hair. Um, so basically, if I move my mouse inward slightly, this area is still sharply in focus, and this tool has no problem selecting it, although I'm going to get a fatal error now. Basically what I was getting at though is that the blur here from the depth of field seems to be where the algorithm struggles, and that's usually where I get the crash. In this case, the crash happened a little earlier. So just a little insight there, maybe that's what's causing this. Let's see if I can get a debug message before closing this out. So yeah, I don't know if any of that info is useful to developers. I would assume probably not. This is going based off of a scribble region. Click OK, close it out. Definitely a promising tool if they can get this thing more stable and if they can figure out really how to get the algorithm to differentiate these areas here where the camera starts to go out of focus, but it's still technically the subject. So let's grab the paint select tool again. Let's see if I can recreate this. So one, two, so in 10 seconds, that's what I get, which is really a great job. I mean, if we hold control, zoom in, there's some, you know, very minor yellow that's getting away here. And I think probably once I apply this selection, it's gonna look jagged just because it's doing this, like the stair stepping. So maybe if there's a way for the algorithm to uh, sort of even that all out so it doesn't look so jagged. I mean, we're gonna see what this looks like. Let's just do it now. So let's grab the path tool, uh, I'm sorry, path tab, and we're gonna convert the selection to a path. And let's hit Control Shift A to deselect that. Let's get off this tool so I don't crash GIMP. And let's convert this back to a selection. And I did miss a little part right there that I'm just now seeing. But let's come over and use the layer mask and see what this does. So that's actually a fantastic job. I mean, that's better really than what I see from Photoshop. Like, wow, that's actually really good. Um, so right here, there's a little bit of error, but you can very easily grab, for example, the paint tool, the paintbrush tool, and let's just shrink this down, swap the colors here, we'll go black. I mean, very quickly you can fix that. And then obviously I pointed out this part of the backpack so I could switch to white and just paint that back in. I could have fixed this with the paint select tool itself had I seen it uh, earlier, but there you'll see that's fixed now. But I mean, have you guys seen lines this clean, even from those AI uh, background removers? I mean, this is really pretty incredible stuff. Now, obviously, it crashed, so it's not stable yet. And then it has a problem here with the head. So that's obviously an issue. But really promising tool here. And if I can give words of encouragement, I mean, you guys are like 95% of the way there, at least on the surface. Maybe you're not, and there's a lot of stuff going wrong with the code in the background. But just in terms of performance and how good of a job this is doing, I think you guys have really done a great job, and this is almost there. So I just wanted to demo that tool and show its progress, but that's it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.